A local family gathered tonight on the city's northwest side for a somber anniversary. A year ago, two Brandeis High School teens were killed in a suspected street racing crash. Our Jennifer Salcedo is live off of Loop 1604 and Hausman Road, the site of the crash, to show us how one of the victims is being remembered. Jennifer. Good evening, Cynthia. Well, the candlelight vigil for 16 year old Gina Rodriguez wrapped up about an hour ago, but afterwards, Gina's family and loved ones decided to come out here to the crash site and leave some roses behind for the teen girls who lost their life a year ago. Send me away with the words of a love song. There was music enjoy, and praying. Enjoy. Candles were lit in honor of 16 year old Gina Rodriguez. Today was the day that um, she was called home. A year ago, Gina Rodriguez passed away. She was one of four Brandeis High School students involved in a horrific crash off 1604 and Hausman. Police say the driver, Antonio Flores, was street racing when he cut off a truck and struck a pole. The crash also killed Gina's classmate and friend, Gabby Lerma. It doesn't get easier. Sometimes I think it even gets harder because you, you tend to miss her more and more. Dozens of Gina's family and friends gathered in her honor to celebrate her life that was cut short. It's been really tough, but I just try to tell myself, like, she's in a better place. If it were one of us, Gina would be here in a second if, you know, the roles were reversed. So anything to help her and remember her forever. Laughing always what you think it ought to be. For Gina's parents, it's a bittersweet celebration, but it's one they feel their daughter deserves. In a way, it's, it's sad because she won't be there. But at the same time, I know that I know that that's the way she would want it. Gina's mother wants to continue to bring awareness to other teen drivers. She says she wants all teens to be careful when they drive and especially wear a seatbelt. Now, as for that driver, Antonio Flores, he was charged with two counts of manslaughter and is awaiting trial. Reporting from the city's northwest side, I'm Jennifer Saucedo, Fox News at 9.